Hello and welcome to Vavork. My name is Brian Watrous and in this quick video I wanted to help you with a few resources to prepare for the VCAP 5 DCD exam. The VCAP 5 DCD exam is VMware's Design Center Design exam, but I suspect you already know that. Uh, if you don't know what DCD is about, you can read this quick blurb here, but regardless whether you know what DCD is or not, the first place you should go is to the official VCAP 5 DCD certification exam page. There's a URL listed here on the screen that you could laboriously type out to go to that page, but I have a suggestion for you. If you hang out to the very end of this video, you'll see that I have a resource that makes it easy to get to all of the different links that uh, I'll be mentioning in this video. So to prepare for the DCD exam, or for that matter, any of VMware's exams, the first thing you should do is go to the official certification page for that exam and download the exam blueprint. The exam blueprint is used by the exam writers to create the exam. It's the same blueprint that you can use to study for the exam. The interactive exam simulation is one thing that makes the DCD exam different from other VMware certification exams. Uh, the Instead of being a true-false uh, multiple choice type test, there are actual design simulations that you need to perform during the test itself. The tool that you use to do that portion of the, the exam is not a tool that you've ever seen before. It's a tool that was designed specially for the DCD exam and consequently it's a tool that you're not familiar with. Uh, I know you guys are all smart, but even the smartest of you out there need to download that interactive exam simulation and give it a quick tour so that you're familiar with the tool. The time to learn to use the tool is not during the exam itself. There is training available that's applicable for the DCD exam. However, there is no training requirement. If you want to take DCD, you don't have to take any classes, but if you did, Besides the, the, the usual vSphere classes, these two classes are uh, very much applicable to the, t the exam itself. So the first class that you see listed here is the Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery Design course. That class is a four and a half hour self-paced online class. And as you can see, as I've designated, that class is free. So there's no excuse for, for not uh, learning the information in that particular class. The second class that you see listed is the VMware vSphere Design Workshop. Um, there are actually multiple versions of that. You'll want to get the uh, 5.x version. Uh, this is the same design workshop that I've taught at uh, numerous VMworlds and partner exchange conferences for VMware. And as you can see, the URL is here, and it's, it's waiting for you to sign up. If you're interested in that class, you can go to that URL and investigate it. Otherwise, you, if you feel that you are able to do data center design and you feel like your, your understanding of data center design will carry forward into the exam and perhaps override some of the terminology and vocabulary that VMware is expecting you to know from that particular class, then you don't have to take the vSphere Design Workshop. But the vSphere Design Workshop is a good way to prepare for the class and it's a great way to uh, have an opportunity to sit down with other fellow students, other folks who are out in the field and talk about design issues. It's a very, very good class. Now on this slide here, I mention two resources that are not from VMware. One is there's a series of YouTube videos. If you search on YouTube for VCAP 5 DCD brown bag, there's a series of videos in which um, the folks who created the videos step through the different objectives outlined in the blueprint um, bit by bit and they give pretty darn good coverage of the uh, objectives of the exam. So great resource. And then my own personal contribution here is a tool that I created for myself but I'm happily sharing it with you if you'd like to use it. Uh, I call it my VCAP 5 DCD exam blueprint tool. If you go to the URL that you see listed on the screen here that will take you to that tool and if you go to this URL, the one that's on the screen here, in the tool that this URL is pointing to is 
a list of all the other URLs. There'll be hypertext links. Um, so instead of typing in all those URLs that you saw in the previous slides, just download the Blueprint tool and it's got the, the links that you need. The tool itself is uh, based on an Excel workbook, so it should be pretty straightforward for most of you to use it, but obviously it requires that you have Excel to use it. One quick note about that URL, the uh, URL is tinyurl.com slash vvork. Yes, it looks like it says work, but that's actually vvork. So now that you know that, now that you know where to go, let's go take a look at the tool itself. So here's the tool itself, and as you see in the lower left-hand corner, there are actually two different worksheets in this workbook. I'm looking at the resources tab, and as you can see, for the URLs that I mentioned earlier in the video, if you simply click on any of these links, such as the official certification page link, will take you right to that particular resource. So that should make it easy to get to those resources. But the real intent of the Blueprint tool is it provides here a summary of the blueprint. Uh, the, the information that you see here comes directly from the blueprint itself. Uh, what I did was I just essentially copied and pasted these disparate objectives. And the reason why I did so is that the, the blueprint is a great document, but it goes on page after page after page after page. And I don't know about you, but as I go flipping through pages, I kind of get uh, lost at times and forget where I am. And sometimes I need to have a a nice overview of what's going on. So this is my way of being able to see everything that I want to see all in one shot and to be able to drill in uh, as, as necessary. So for instance, if I was studying in section one, um, specifically objective one, if I was interested in objective 1.1, .1, I can drill down further and further to see uh, what all's in there. Plus I have links, the same links that the blueprint has, I've, uh, where appropriate, included links so that you can click on these here too to get to the documents that VMware recommended. But again, the whole point of for me to create this tool was to allow me to drill in to whatever degree I wanted into each of the different uh, objectives. So if I wanted an overview, I just collapse everything. If I want to drill in on a particular section, I just drill in on that individual section. So. No, no particular rocket science behind this this tool itself, but it helps me, and I hope it helps you. If you have uh, any comments or questions about this tool, please feel to post questions at www.vvork.info. That's www.vvork.info. Thanks, guys.